Joseph, and he is gone. 57 yards for the touchdown. Three plays in just like that. 7-0 Miami. Second quarter, Hurricanes up 7-6. Third and four at the five. Clement is hit. He fumbles. Four Panthers have a chance to get it. Get, get it. Get the ball. Get. Goes out of bounds. All the way back at the 48, Miami would have to punt. Third quarter, Pittsburgh up 14-7. The Canes are faking the field goal. Jeff Popovich to Daniel Franks. Touchdown. We're tied at 14. Later in the third, Miami ball at the 37. Daryl McMillan with the carry. Curtis McGee with the hit. And there's John Jenkins. Loving those new blue unis. Recovers for Pittsburgh at the 22. Butch Davis bumming. Five plays later, second and 10 at the 12. Panthers quarterback Pete Gonzalez finds no one. So he decides to take it down and take it himself. Good idea. Pittsburgh up 21-14 after three. Last chance for Miami in the fourth. Down 21-17. Fourth and six at the 35. The Panthers showing blitz. Here they come. Uh-oh, Clement steps up, fires the pass. It's intercepted. The Panthers have a football, and they've got the football game. Jenkins wasn't fooling when he said it's going to be great. He picked that one off. And that's going to come out of the athletic department budget. Farkas troops on the run all day. Never had time to get set, and there's a result of it. 15 seconds left in the first. Tony George makes the big play for the Gators. Runs it back 89 yards for a touchdown to put the Gators up 14 zip. The INT one of three Tennessee turnovers on the day. To the second quarter we go. It was 14 7 now, Florida. Third and five. Doug Johnson finding Jacquez Green, one of first of two of Green's TDs. It's Florida up 27. Tough day for Manning. It continued. He said he needed to play well for Tennessee to win, and he said he didn't. Two fumbles, two picks. He was sacked twice. Fourth quarter, less than six minutes Johnson, left. Third and 12, time. Johnson finding Ross for a 30-yard touchdown pass. Johnson, in just his third start, throws for three TDs, all coming on third down plays to add misery to Manning, who says, I probably hate to lose. Bama trailing by one. They have the ball, Lance Tucker. Quincy Jackson for the score. 15-10, Bama, and they want to go for two. Yeah, they line up for it. But wait a minute. No time left. They take a delay a game. Bama is forced to settle for one point. Big play. It's 16-10 tied. Arkansas now. Yes, they did. To the fourth we go, and the Razorbacks driving late. Clint Sterner. What is Anthony Eubanks open? So open on third and 18. The game-winning touchdown for the Razorbacks, and they do it again. This is the second straight one-point victory in Tuscaloosa in four years up seven nothing make it 14 nothing frost the keeper 30 yards for the score later in the first same score Brock Heward gets hit by Grant Wistrom Heward injures his ankle on the play he'd be replaced by the freshman Marcus Tuias Sopo Heward would have to be carted off the field and would not return to action with a score 21 nothing middle of fourth it's 24 14 Nebraska Huskies at Nebraska pin inside their own five. Joel Makovica on the fullback draw takes it 42 yards out to near midfield. Nebraska goes on to win by that 27. Third quarter, it's 10-7 FSU. Peter Warwick on the punt return. He's stripped by Mond Wilson. Fumbles. Lamont Hall recovers. Clemson will go up 14-10. Still in the third. 14-13. First and 10 near midfield. Thad Busby. Goes deep, Warwick up and over. What a grab, and the 49-yard touchdown. Two-point conversion, FSU's up 21-14. Scary moment. Warwick, watch this. The pop by DeMarco Fox. He'd stay in, he's a tough guy. Bottom of the fourth. FSU up 21-17. This is Warwick on another punt return. I don't believe he'd fumble this one. 90 yards for the touchdown, and what a play. The first score returned for a touchdown on a punt since Deion Sanders did it nine years ago. 28-7. Nothing Auburn. Damien Craig rolls to his left. Hicks poor. Nothing poor about that. Dives in the end zone. 14-0 Auburn. Then Cecil Collins starting for the injured Kevin Falk. Missed last year because of academic difficulties. Great run here. 49 yards. That set up LSU's second touchdown. Later in the second, Herb Taylor finds Nemesis Bates. Turns a corner, stays in bounds, and touchdown. 21-21. Fourth quarter, Auburn by three. It's going to be Collins again. Look at this one. Finishing it off right there as he stays up. 42 yards, LSU up by four. Last chance in the fourth for Auburn. Third down and four. Craig finds Tyrone Goodson over the middle. First down. Under a minute left, Rusty Williams from a yard out. Touchdown. Auburn with a dramatic victory. Maybe you saw it earlier right here on ESPN. 
as Auburn wins it 31 28. Craig 23 of 45 for South Bend coming off 511 yards last week against Memphis. Opening kickoff. Mark Renaud takes it up the middle, finds a seam, 52 yard return. The return helps set up Todd Schultz. Touchdown. Josh Kerr for the six yard score, 12 for 18, 107 for Schultz. 7 0 Michigan State. 27, Michigan State in the seventh. Cedric Irvin, who rushed for over 100 yards, throws the pass complete to Gary Scott. Irvin then jumping for joy. Michigan State beats the Irish. The Irish haven't been under 500 since 1980. Buckeyes just made it 7 0. First and 10 on the 20 for Arizona. Keith Smith, the fake, the pitch. Andy Katzenmoyer, interception and a touchdown. 14 0. Bucks. Arizona down 28 0 after the third quarter. Now mounting a comeback. First and 10 on the 17, down 28-13. Smith up the middle. Jeff Nato has it and scores. PAT, Arizona down eight with 2.31 left. They tried the onside kick. They don't get it. White Castle hamburgers for everyone. Buckeyes win. Stanley Jackson, 14-0 as a starter. John and Davenport to Nay Brown. N-A spells Nay. 14-7 at the half. Third quarter, Davenport again on a first and 10 situation. This time, going back to Jason Peace, 19 yards, and Carolina's up 24 to 7 after three. Now Davenport takes a seat. Keldorf takes over. Second and eight. Fourth quarter activity, and Keldorf finds L.C. Stevens just barely, but good enough for the score. As North Carolina rolls 40 14, Davenport is first start of the Three. Penn State, Louisville, first quarter. Mike McQuarrie to Joe Juravicius. 57 yards and a touchdown, tied at seven. Late first half, Penn State piling up some big numbers. Curtis Enos bursting up the middle. Third touchdown of the half. Enough is enough. Scoreboard, please. Penn State wins it 57 21. State couch. Throwing again and completing again. Craig Yeast, touchdown, 7 0 Kentucky after one. Couch again. Yeast again. Six catches, 58 yards for him, 14 0 Kentucky. Getting routine. Couch, Yeast. 21 0 at the half, Kentucky over IU. First of four. Couch TD passes in the third quarter. Kevin Coleman had four catches, 78 yards. Keo Sanford takes the dump off. Goes 37 yards for the score. Fifth TD pass of the game for Couch. 35-0 Kentucky. Guess they still got a throw from the shotgun up 35. And Coleman again. And here's the seventh touchdown pass from Couch. The fourth to Yeast. Kentucky rolls 49-7. Craig Yeast caught four of Tim Couch's seven TD passes. That ties a Kentucky quarterback knows who to give the ball to. Tavian Banks. So it's Breaks the handoff. Gone Banks. 82 yards for the touchdown. One of four scores for Banks. Take this run away, though, and he only had 45 yards on 19 carries against Iowa State. But Iowa wins easily. Tim Dwight led the way for the Hawkeyes with taps. Northeast Louisiana at Georgia. Second quarter, Georgia leads 7-love. Mike Bobo finds a wide open Corey Allen. 72-yard touchdown pass. Bobo, 229 yards. Georgia wins 42-3. San Diego State at Wisconsin. Great Dane. It's Ron up the middle. 31-yard score. Carried the ball 26 times. 145 yards. Four scores. Wisconsin wins 36-10. Tulane at Syracuse. Tulane down 24-19. Nine seconds to play. Sean King's pass batted down. The Bucky Jones intercepts and goes 98 for the score. Syracuse hangs on to win by 11. Fresno State 40. Oregon 37 in overtime. Jason Moss looking for Blake Spence. Stop the Fresno State one yard line. Next play, first and goal from the one. Moss takes it in on the keeper. He shoots and scores. It's a touchdown. Oregon wins 43-40 in OT. Stoop, and here we go. Late fourth quarter, tied at 10. Kevin Federick will go back to pass. Hits Ben Cahoon, 21 yards on the play. It sets up the go-ahead field goal, 13-10 BYU. Former Sun Devil quarterback Jake Plummer on hand to check out the activity. Could Ryan Keeley pull off a Plummer-like comeback? Fourth and ten for ASU. Keeley's pass bounces off Lindsey Jackson's hands right there. And BYU takes over. The Cougars with a big upset as they win it 13-10. The Cougars winning for the first
Coming out strong. First play from scrimmage. Leaf, back to pass. Kevin McKenzie, got it. Gone. Remember, first play from scrimmage, 80 yards and a score. Cougars up 7-0. Illinois fought back, third quarter tied at 7. Robert Hokum gets the call, and I think he heard the call, because he's gone. He's gone 48 yards, Illinois up 14-7, but Washington State wouldn't be down for long. Ryan Leaf hits Sean McWashington. Touchdown. Washington State goes on to win 35-22. Still, Coach Mike Price not happy. His team lead fourth quarter. Fullback Jermaine Fazan here for Oklahoma. Touchdown, all tied at 34. Late fourth quarter, Justin Fetter to Bobby Shaw. Touchdown. Cal in a crazy one, wins it 40. Ball, second quarter, no score. Air Force driving first and 10 in the 28. Matt Farmer on the reverse. All the way down to the eight. That set up Blaine Morgan from two yards out. He shoots and scores. Air Force up seven. Love Morgan, 89 yards rushing. Air Force linebacker Chris Gizzy was everywhere. There he stuffs Kevin McDougal. Gizzy had four sacks on the night, helping to hold CSU scores for the first time since 83. Third quarter, Morgan to Matt Farmer, this time throwing. Touchdown, Air Force goes on to win 24. Love, Blaine Morgan ran for one touchdown, pass for another. Win over UTEP. Hawaii UNLV second quarter 6-3 UNLV Tim Carey back to pass to Charles Thwart who gets drilled by UNLV's Marquez returns it to the 10 let's hear that hit again shall we it's a doozy heavy metal Randy Black is excited UNLV wins 25-15 oh, UNLV snaps a seven game losing his team fired up Wildcats down 10, Adrian Autry, 10 Autry yards, brings the Wildcats within three. Looking We're now tied at 34. Right Chad Nelson, the option. Late Inside pitch to Michael face. Perry. With the carry. He's got Perry's the got it. To Perry. His third touchdown, touchdown of the day. Balls. Rice up 40-34. Last chance for Northwestern, fourth and 16, under a minute to go. Tim Hughes avoiding the pressure, throws incomplete to Autry. Barnett says, oh, man. As Rice wins it 40-34, Perry the three touchdowns, he picked up a